Hi guys, it's Mr. Worthy and the duo. We got Ricky and Kylie, also known as Riley. Um, we're going to be showing you guys a little bit of a tutorial that these girls are going to be displaying at the Esri User Conference in San Diego this summer. Uh, pardon my dress, it's decades today at Sonora Elementary. Did you guys, y'all didn't choose to participate? We're procrastinators. Procrastinators, that's right. We're 2010 decade. Okay, well that's cool. This is the actual Shaquille O'Neal jersey I wore in sixth grade. And so I'm representing the 90s, the early 90s, yeah. And uh, the cool thing is, unlike Shaquille O'Neal, I can still fit into my 1997 jersey. Uh, he, he got big. A anyways, okay, so um, the girls are going to show you some tricks with um, RGIS, but also RGIS online. And then we might even show you some really cool stuff on um, ArcMap or Esri tools on Microsoft Office. Yeah. Um, and so they're going to be driving the ship. I'm going to be uh, helping authenticate because you do have to do some things online and we have some network issues. And so I authenticate to make sure the websites are unblocked. But um, they're going to show you some stuff uh, with their mobile library project and maybe the veteran project. I don't know, something. And you guys can do it too, especially if you already have maps that are um, already saved to your network. You can put them up online and then and, and do some really cool things at home or from another computer that maybe doesn't have uh, ArcMap on it or whatever. <laughs> so, or you can you do you can make web apps and stuff. So, you guys ready? Mm -hmm. yep. Okay, cool. Let's take a look. Mm -hmm. Okay, so first we're just going to open up ArcMap. So we're going to go to all programs and ArcMap 10.2. Yeah, that's the software that we're using. And then we're going to pick on our mobile map. map. Yeah. Um, the one we're using for this. Okay. Then we're going to zoom out really quick because yeah. it's... Do you guys not do a bookmark? We don't do bookmarks. Oh, don't tell Dr. Robin. <laughs> okay. So then... This is just our map, pretty much, and all of our students are the red dots, and I can make those bigger and a different color. So, let's just do this again. And then we'll pick neon green, I guess. Okay. <laughs> so, all of our students live where the green dot, the green star thingies are. And then the stops. These other dots are um, the stops, which is where the most densely populated, um, uh, like the most densely populated students are. So we put a stop there. Yeah. Um, as you can see, like over here. Can you make those a little bigger so I can see them? These. Yeah. And when you guys decide to like export all this, go ahead and show them how you manipulate the errors and everything. Okay. okay. Um, and also, so when you look, there's right there, there's a big like blob of green. And so that's why we put a stop there is because we have a lot of students living there because there's, uh, this is our commons area. And we have a lot of a we have one apartment down there, so there's a lot of yeah. students. And and also a lot of people are literally living on top of each other, so. Because there's different floors. Yeah. The apartment. Right. Okay. And then we over here is well, right here is our school, and we are going to have a stop right there because all like there are students that live all the way down here, so they can just drive up to our school and then they can get some books. And then over here is our blue Springs Village um, stops because we have a lot of students that live in Blue Springs Village just across the lake. And this is Knob Hill Loop, really close to one of our closest partners, uh, Knob Hill Fire Department. And then up there, we just have a lot of students there. And, and it's kind might, of a meet in the middle because lots of kids live up there, so, so they they're might have scattered out. So they're they're there, spread so. out, like there's yeah. two here, two here. Yeah. So we're gonna put a spot. And we're gonna see a, a better map 
on Excel here in a second yeah. that's going to show you that information. And okay, so like you have all this data. You have yeah. all this data, you have it displayed on this map. But nobody uh, can see it. But nope, yeah, unless you have ArcMap 10.2 on your desktop at home, nobody can really see it. So um, I'm going to zoom in really close to your table of contents. Kind of show us um, the process of what you would do um, to display this on somewhere else. Okay, so first we got a font. We might want to. Go to oh yeah, here's the the authentication part. I have to log in. Let's go ahead and enter. Um, because some of ArcGIS's features are blocked, and so we want to make that unblocked. So they're going to ArcGIS.com, and they're going to log in. Do you guys remember the password stuff? Yeah, kind of. Okay, cool. So you log in with your username. Ours is Sonora East, and then it has a password. You want me to do it? Yes. Okay. Cool. <laughs> the girls have used the password, but a lot of times, like we try to keep that one secret to keep it secure. And, and also, so, it's kind of hard to like remember. do the button. Oh yeah, yeah. It, it is a little different. So, so they're logged in, and um, what's really cool is we have two people now as moderators or the yeah, publishers. Publishers. We have you know the the, the Sonora East account, but we also have. Charlie Fitzpatrick, uh, who has come like and visited us twice. We have an yeah. yeah, yeah. So, so then we're just going to go to my content. I'll zoom back out so you guys can see. And you can see all of our maps that we have made, and we have two pages of them. And so we're going to go back to our GIS, and we are going to go to the desktop version. Yeah, the desktop version, and we're going to go to sign in. And we're going to sign in. Okay, it's the same account that you would use um, on ArcGIS.com. Yeah, and then. Oh, and I probably typed something wrong. Sonora. Oh, you didn't put an A in Sonora. A. Sonora East, Sonora East, Sonora East, and then we just sign in. So then we go back. And then we go back to the file, and then we press. Well, we don't press it, but we um, click. We no. Well, we just well, like we drop down to the share as button, and then we go to service. And. And then it's this uh, is, you want yeah, it this is where you guys need to get your step by step really clean because people are gonna be trying this all over the place. So And you want to have it on publisher service. You don't like um, I'm not really sure what either one of these two do, but um, you want you don't want to overwrite an existing service or save, save a service. service definition file. You so want to publish as a service. Say it, click publish a service and, and then, then you're click going next. next. Then you go to... It'll say, um, choose a connection and service name. So we are just going to choose, our, like, our service, um, the Sonora East service. And if you don't have one on there, you, you might have not signed in. It, the sign-in might have not worked. So then you're, you just want to pick your name. And so we'll just do a random name. Yeah, you could do like demo or, or whatever since we're just We can put in test map because this is kind of a test. Okay. And then we press continue after you pick your name and your service. So then this this is going to pop up and up here it's going to say import, analyze, preview, and publish. And then over here it's going to say parameters, parameters ca capabilities, tiled mapping, catching, advanced settings, item description and sharing. So first you want to go to capabilities. And make sure it does not say tile mapping because then um, you'll take up too much um, space on the um, ArcGIS Online. And, but if you uncheck tiled mapping, it will say a capability is required, so just press OK. And 
uh, click future ac access and check that box and then you can uncheck tiled mapping. So then you're going to go to feature access and, and then you have to do like a it's URL. URL. Actually, What's don't. a URL? It's a website uh, address. Oh, okay. But okay. you don't have to do a URL. Actually, this at if it says, it says the rest URL will be defined once the service is published. So yeah, so you don't really have to do anything on this page. So basically what it's telling you is like when you share or publish your map, that URL, what would you do with it? Like, like if you wanted to share it or whatever yeah, with on your client a or whatever. On a different website or something. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. And then, like, so it's just kind of giving you a little bit of information about what will happen. Okay. And then you go down to the item description box, and you, like, all, all of this is required, but the as access and use constraints and the credits. So I'm just going to type in random letters. So typically, yeah, that's a summary of your map and your project. Does it, you does it ask for tags as well? Yeah. You summary a summary of your map is required and uh, the tags are required, and then you can do a description about what your map is, but you don't have to worry about access and use constraints or credits mm -hmm. unless you want to try to. Yeah. What was really cool with the tags and, and Charlie kind of uh, Charlie Fitzpatrick from Esri um, kind of mentioned that it, it's kind of like hashtags on Twitter. Yeah. Like if you wanted to learn more about the VMA Awards, the Video Music Awards on MTV, you would could search that hashtag and you would see all this news or whatever. Mm -hmm. It's the same thing like when you're on ArcGIS Online. Let's say you're doing a map on volcanoes. Mm -hmm. You search that, three, five maps of volcanoes comes up so you can kind of you know pick and choose what yeah. attributes you want to focus. And, and then like that. after you fill out everything that's required and everything, you go down to the sharing one and you, if you if your map is just how you want it and you don't want to change anything I don't recommend doing that but if you do just click everyone and um, that's just and then you'll press publish but we don't we want it to be private until we fix it how we want it now explain to me why would you want this to be private with this specific map because we might want to add some other things like a heat map or something Okay. Um, so we want it to be private so nobody can see it before we uh, uh, Or also you might it. be testing it out or you don't want somebody random thinking, oh, this is cool. And then, and then they, they realize that it's Springdale, just our little community. Right. And so. Well, and another thing, and I know we've talked about this, but we've got individual student information. Um, so like this is all 700 kids or 698 kids from our school. You don't want to share out all that information. Yeah, um, you got to change that. Yeah, you got to hide some of the attributes. So like we would want to hide our student names and, and so the addresses. Is, and the addresses, yeah, right? Because you don't want people to come showing up to your door and saying, "Hey." Stalking people. Well, stalking or selling encyclopedias or whatever people do. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so we're just going to publish it. We'll share it as an ESAP Sonora map so we can we're the only people that could see it and then we're going up here in the corner it's right below well it's over to the left a little bit and down from the x box um it says publish and when you have your mouse on it it'll say publish publish your gis resource so you want to press that and then it will, down here, it will say that you have some errors. errors. Oh, so, are these bad errors? Are they good errors? What's well, the problem? Well, you've got to pay attention to the high ones. The mediums you don't have to fix. But and then like, the low it, ones, they're just like telling you information that you might want to change. The low something. and the mediums are, they're just like giving you warnings and messages of what's going to happen unless you, in, unless you do this. Gotcha. So, but so you the, really have to address highs. Yeah. Okay, so show us. Like, it will not publish if you do not get rid of it. Okay, so I'm going to, hold on. And we'll cut this and make it look pretty. So, all right, so we're going to take a closer look at some of these errors um, and kind of explain what some of these are, Ricky. Okay. So, this 
Our first high one is there are no base map layers um, can be published directly to um, the service. And so you have to... And basically what that means is um, ArcGIS Online will give you a base map and so you don't have to have the desktop ArcGIS's base map along to go with it. Okay. Yeah, so you have to del will remove the base map. And so you're just deleting it from your table of contents completely. Yeah. And th I, I know we talked about this, but I want to make sure the viewers know, is you want to save this in yeah. multiple multiple areas so that you just... You want to make sure you have your original map saved at least once. Okay. And then you... And then, so we did our base map, so we can press publish again, and it still says we have another high error. So we are going to... This one says standalone tables data source is not s supported. And what and that kind of means is that maybe something is hiding or... Yeah, and usually on your table of contents, it'll just show these layers um, with the list by drawing order. But you have to go to list by source to find the layers that you have to delete with this high, um, this high error. So it... So these were hiding, and so we have to delete the sheet one. And that's what you pulled from, like, Excel? Yeah. Okay. The things that we pulled from Excel, we have to delete. Okay. Because ArcMap doesn't really need that. It's already yeah. processed the information. It doesn't need to do it again. Yeah. So okay. then you want to try publishing again. And if you have all your high errors gone, it will publish. Well, it will try to publish. Um and then you'll be able to open it up on ArcGIS Online, but it might take a little bit. Well, and on this one, you've got 600 student addresses, you've got 10 stops, you've got a lot of information. We have to authenticate every now and then. So the girls have gotten really good at just authenticating, and we're working with our, our district right now to see if we can get that to work. It's just this specific website. It's just so. patience. Yeah. Patience. It's all about patience. What is patience? I don't know anything about this. patience. Remember the joke that um, Robin told us? The what? girls thing. RGIS oh, yeah. is like your ex-girlfriend? Yeah. What What did she say about it? She said that um, we, you can't rush them. You can't rush them? Uh -huh. Because like, it's all, it's going to take a while and they got to be perfect. The spinning uh -huh. world is the woman. Yep. The spinning world, does that mean it's thinking? Yes. Okay. It, All right, so what message do you have popped up? Okay, sorry. Uh, this service has been published successfully. So um, you, now that you know that, you can press OK, and all that will end out. And then you want to go back to your Internet content thing. And Make a new map and, and show them, like, just from a blank map. Just make like a, a, a completely new map and then add that data to it. On this? Yeah. I don't know how to do that. Oh, create map. <laughs> I've never done that before. So yeah, okay, we're making a new map and we are going to add that data on here. So we are going to zoom in to our area. Our area. Okay. Yeah, we're right there, right there. It's like a so and I like to use the school bar thingy on your mouse. Uh, Dr. Robin's going to beat you. I like to because it helps me. Okay, so then we want to make a bookmark on this. Um, yeah, add bookmark. And it's going to say... Wait, we probably want to zoom in a little bit more. Uh, to specifically Sonora. Okay. So, so yeah, okay, now we're going to add a bookmark. And then we're going to press okay. Okay. So then we... Did you click okay? Yes. Okay. Well, you have to press enter. Oh, okay. And then you um, go to add up here, add content to map, and then you're going to add, add layer from file. 